Today, it's the Grand Design Imagine XLS 23BHE. Come on! Today we are at Travelland RV Supercenter on the Langley Bypass and we're going to show you the Imagine XLS 23 BHE. It is a family model and we know lots of you are trying to get out this summer and enjoy so you're probably going to like this one even if it's for grandkids it'll still work out cool. So as per usual everything we're telling you mine and Corey's opinion based on the research that we do and one of the research tools we use is in the description if you want to use it as well. I'll also put a link at the end of this to the construction of the Imagine and somewhere in here I'll put up a card that gives you some more information on the differences between the XLS and the regular Imagine. So that's the plan. Also, there's the link in the description to the currency converter and the timestamps. And if we're giving you any value at all, feel free, buy us a coffee. We always appreciate that. And we want to say thanks to Todd and Annette. You guys are great. Thank you so much. And we appreciate your repeated coffees. Keeps us going, you know. So we're going to uh, go around the outside here, take a look at this, and then we'll take you inside and we'll show you all about this 23BHE. All right, let's get started here at the front. You do get your two 20 pound propane tanks and an electric jack, so we all know we love that. The um, rock guard here is at a decent height, I think, and as far as batteries go, uh, that's something you can negotiate. I mean, they're gonna come with a lead acid battery, but you know, talk about that and get what you want. Coming around the driver's side, here, uh, magnetic latches, moving into your pass-through storage. Uh, let me turn a light on there for you. You can see all the way through, and you can see that here is your wet bay, right? So you've got some electric, um, you've got your battery disconnect fill, these are the uh, valves to turn things for which direction you want them. You've got your cable, you've got your outdoor shower, and you've got the little base so that you can put everything through and come out underneath. You do get four manual stabilizer jacks on this rig. And then coming back, here is a sewer drainage. Now, this one you can see has a small pipe, so that's meaning that it's a gray. Whew, sorry, wind's blowing. It's a gray, uh, so there's something at the front of this trailer that's specific because uh, it's going to have two separate tanks in some way. Also, underneath you can see a fully enclosed underbelly and that's where the spare is kept under there. And then coming up, uh, you do get one slide on this and it is the Schwintech electric slide, which is appropriate for this size. And you also uh, can see the flap on the side here with the extra uh, bubble rubber piece to keep it all sealed up nicely. Up at the top, uh, there's not a lot of space up there. So, I mean, my concern with that is that you probably can't put a slide topper up there, but check with the dealer when you're buying because I would recommend getting those if you could. Um, coming back this way, you do, uh, on the XLS, you get the slider windows, which I'm really happy with. And then coming around back here, here is your black tank flush appropriately placed near the sewage. So here is your other sewer hookup with the gray. Here is your pulls uh, for your black and your gray. Now, what I'm noticing between that other one and this one, so now you've got two that you've got to drain, um, they are kind of hanging a little lower and I would worry about them getting damaged, but the actual valves themselves are up in the underbelly. So that's an important feature because it just helps with heat and cleanliness for them to be up there, yet they're down here where you can reach everything, they're just hanging a bit low. Okay, coming around to the back. This is where you're going to find your 30 amp connection, your ladder to get up onto your roof. And way up there, if you can see it, uh, you will have a backup camera, but I believe it's just prepped for that. So it may be an option that you have to add. So check on that. 
And then let's go around to this side and take a look. I mean, this is a pretty small trailer and we'll get to the numbers, um, but it's got a, quite a large awning with LED lighting and that's gonna be electric as well. You have a spray port here and a bit of an outdoor kitchen. Okay, so this is nice. Some storage, lighting, uh, electrical. What do we got? Oh, okay. Is this a grill? Yes. It is. Oh, it's a two, it's not a grill, it's a two burner stove. And I just want to see how the propane gets connected. Yeah, so there's a there's a propane quick connect right under here for you for that. And you get a small, but it's there, electric fridge. And this is all at a reasonable height, so we can work with that. Now you get some electric here, another uh, cable port there speakers up top, a water fill, and then coming down here, you are getting the aluminum um, rims and your tires are a super ST, uh, ST205 slash 75R14. So we're getting those and uh, lease suspension. And of course, go back and look at those other videos to learn about more of the construction features and things like that. Come on up to the front again. And this will show you the other side to that pass through. So there is quite a bit of space in there. Also people, when you're looking into these kinds of spaces, take a look at what uh, is up there, like the, the material that's used and the welds that are there and those kinds of things. Now, let's talk about the steps. Nothing wrong with these steps. I know they're not the fancy ones that sit up there and pull down and are super stable and all of those kinds of things, but there's pros and cons to steps. And these ones are very nice. They are aluminum and they just fold up and tuck in here. And the beauty of that is that you can pull them out in tighter spaces. You can pull them out and reach a handle if it's too high. Um, you know, there is pros and cons. So make sure you think that through and get the steps that suit you the best. Love the grab handle. The door is a friction door and it also has the a uh, little clamp there to do it up, but it seems it seems kind of weird that it's just right there, right? Like you can't you can't open the door all the way and clamp it in place. Just a little bit weird. I like that there's a window in the door and screen, so that's nice too. So next. Anybody want to go inside and see what the 2021-23 BHE looks like? Come on. All right. Well, I've said it before. I do like the 2021 Grand Design Imagine decor. It's a uh, grayish, beige, but it's definitely a lighter color and I do like it. A little bit of glass here. What do we got? So we got some storage and here's your, um, control panel, I guess, because I couldn't find light switches, but there's a button here that does it all. So it's also got gas, electric, water pump, awning, slide, all of that right here, plus some storage up there, and then more storage here, but no, okay, you do have some hooks back there, not a rod though, and this can come out. So if you wanted this to be for longer uh, hanging, you could. Now, where will I put my shoes? Oh, there is underneath the dinette here is a place to tuck all of the shoes. That's what we need. Okay, so moving around in here, let's switch it up a bit and go into the bedroom part first. So it's a front bedroom. Remember, this is the XLS and it only has one slide. So into the bedroom, you can walk around the bed like halfway-ish. So you still got to reach up there to make it, but I think it's pretty decent and doable. And I do believe this is a queen. Uh, roll down um, blinds in here that are quite dark for those of you who need that. Switches here, closet up there is kind of high, but I could, you know, with a hanger, I could reach that. So we've got quite a bit of space there. 
plus two smaller drawers here and then a bit of a nightstand here with electrical in it but there's a cubby hole up here so this is the perfect nightstand for me it's got usb it's got electric you can fit stuff right in there you do get reading lights and i do like this kind of cushioned headboard more storage up here that's not going to smack you in the head or anything when you climb up there to use it and then oh plus remember grand design so the heating is through walls and furniture so that's where you get that in here and let's take a look under here so you got lots of storage oh and it's on the strut two struts and check this out so not only is it storage but you've got this sort of um drawer that could slide around and be put wherever you want it depending on how you're going to use space what you're going to put in there so that's good it's a little tough to get down but that's you can't have it both ways right <laughs> it's a little tough to get down but that's because it's got the struts there holding it up so that's what makes it good looking up as well you get a uh vent up here no fan and you've got ac ducting led lights and over on that side you do get a cable and electric hookup and you get the exact same thing on the other side of the bed for closet and cubby hole and usb and all those kinds of things and then i want to show you the door because i really like it it's like a, a slider barn door closes opens back up I really like this door. It's good privacy and nicer than a curtain and hooks up and is really easy to manage. Coming back out, we get to the kitchen, which has one of my favorite things, which is the fold up countertop. I really like that. See how easy that is. You also get this TV here and there's electrical down here. Now, the thing about the TV is it'll pull out and it'll turn, so it'll work good from the bunks or from the dinette. And then, of course, if you want a TV in the main bedroom area, you can put one in. So, back to our kitchen. Uh, these are the thermofoil, no seam countertops. And let's take a look at this sink. You know I love these little roller things. So, it's a one-piece undermount stainless sink um, I'd probably rather it be two but this you could manage right because you could put a uh, drain tray right up there so that'd be great this is a nice tap with a sprayer I do like that now remember this is in the slide right we're now into the slide you do get a window back there decent enough um, countertop space for people's stuff uh, so I like that and because it's in the slide all of this cabinetry is super easy to reach love that let's move down and take a look at these oh wow so that's a pretty big space in there like you could fit a garbage can and whatever else you wanted there the plumbing is really not in the way at all i like that and what's this oh just another small more narrow but you know you could put things on end in there so i do like that uh, also, there's more electrical underneath there. Microwave, small, but also again, it's in the slide, it's reachable. I feel much better about that than some of them. Furion range hood to go with the Furion uh, three burner propane cooktop, which is nice and level. And you get the oven. It's small, but it's good. And I, I do like having an oven. And underneath that is a great pots and pans drawer. Love that. Um, what I'm wishing it had was a backsplash, but you could easily put in a backsplash of your choice in that area to protect it. Now, here's the fridge. I'm going to say, what do you think? Eight cubic foot, but I'll check for you to be sure. But again, wonderfully reachable propane electric I do like the fridge moving down so this would be your pantry um, so this is a fixed shelf and so you'd have to put bins or something in there 
uh, and it's also really deep. Okay, I'm still not there. Okay, I'm there. <laughs> so yeah, they're pretty deep, so you'll want to put something in there to make them easy to reach. And then you get three smaller drawers, but they're they're quite long, right? Because my whole arm was in there. And um, you can fit lots of stuff in there as well. Now, moving over to the dinette area. Let's go up first because the thing that I'm finding interesting here <laughs> is the shape of these cabinets. They're like retro or something. It is a little retro. Right? They seem like that's an old style. I think back in the olden days when we had the camper <laughs> on the back of the truck, that it was like that. So I'm not sure why or what the advantage to that is because yes, you can go higher, but you can't go any more than this space out. So I'm not really sure what the advantage of that is. Maybe they just wanted to try something different. Um, LED lighting here, more blinds that are nice. The uh, table is the same as the countertop and it's a thermal foil. The seats, they're, they're comfy. Um, now to get it any storage under them yeah you'd have to go from here and lift up let me oh you know what this isn't storage it's access to to your stuff let me just fix this i do like this decor like i said before i like the fabric here and the easy to wash there i'm just gonna check and see what's under this one uh yeah this one you do not get access to either just so you know and this does make down into a bed so it's got the system where you loosen the clamps and then you just push the table down into its position um, generally i find that a little bit tough not because the system doesn't work but you just you got to have enough pressure on here so i don't know make it a game let the kids climb on the table <laughs> But anyways, because you need to be able to push it down, hold it down while you reclamp those. So that's all. I uh, just want to point out that there's also more electric down there. And then you get these quite large bunks, two of them. Uh, AC here also as well. I just want to point out the rest of the roof has AC and LED lighting and speaker as well. Uh, and they both have privacy curtains. And this top bunk gets two windows. The bottom bunk gets one window. They both get USB and lights. Um, and like I say, they're decent enough size, but they're kind of claustrophobic, right? I mean, maybe kids won't mind. And you know what? I bet once I was in here laying down, it wouldn't bother me at all, but it's quite tight at the moment so just a thought your kids probably don't care and there's lots of storage right like if you if you during the day you need to put stuff someplace these are great but as well underneath there's quite a bit of storage too so i really do like that now on the other side of that was that outdoor kitchen right um but this is great space now let's go check out the bathroom doors a little tight up against there but you can still get in and it's, it's a fairly spacious bathroom uh into the shower this is how big it is up to the little skylight there you get a two-piece plastic surround uh clipped together they do have a, uh these little things in there no caulking some shelves uh standard taps and they're going with this sort of film um, curtain which or door i guess which i'm waiting to see how that handles things you get a window which i love and it's quite a big window too you also get led and you get a vent and fan in here the countertop in the bathroom, although not huge, is that banjo style, so I do like it. It's the same material that's out in the kitchen with no seams, thermofoil. You get the smaller, but not too bad size, um, stainless sink with average taps. 
you get quite a bit of storage moving down here. So I like that and a lot of storage underneath the sink. The plumbing doesn't even impede anything. So you could really go to town with some shelves or something in there. Love the level of the mirror and the extra storage in there. And this is a porcelain foot flush toilet. So that's good. There's also electricity here in the vanity and I love all of that. So now let's take a look at the Cracker Barrel Factor. Okay, so only one slide on this unit. Remember the bedroom had no slide, so you could walk around the bed in there. So all of this comes in the slide. With this down and with the slide depth being that much, it actually comes out to about here. This part of the counter comes out to about here. So when you come in the door, you can easily get into the bedroom. Because this is only this wide, it's sticking out here, but you can easily walk past it. You'll be able to get to the dinette, the sink, the stove, the fridge, all of the stuff in the pantry. Again, when this comes in, it's gonna come out to about here, maybe a little further, but you'll be able to get into the bathroom, I think. Yeah, the door should open. Be able to get into the bathroom and the bunks. Like it doesn't get any better than that. Yes, it's cramped. That's okay. You're in a parking lot someplace. And it, this is an excellent Cracker Barrel factor. The other thing I wanted to point out about the slide is that it does have a bit of a lip there. So you want to be careful of that because you could, it could bang your toe kind of thing. But people tell me they get used to it. Also, the beauty thing with the slide like this is the whole floor is vinyl. It's an uninterrupted floor because all of the venting is through furniture and things and there's no carpet. Yay! <laughs> all right, let's talk about the numbers on this one. Now for the numbers on the 2021 Grand Design Imagine XLS 23 BHE. <laughs> I went out, took a picture, and it tells me that the GVW 6,995 pounds with a cargo carrying capacity of 1,471 pounds. So that's great. And let's take a look at what the other numbers are. The uh, length actually comes in at 27 foot 11 inches, with the height being 10 foot 10 inches. And the fresh water is at 43 gallons. The gray is at 82 gallons. But like I said, I suspect there's like that's a combination of probably two because there's two separate drains. And then your black is at 37 gallons. The furnace, 25,000 BTUs. And the awning was a 20 foot awning with the bed up at the front there being a 60 by 80 queen bed. The interior ceiling height was 78 inches, and it was indeed an eight cubic foot fridge. And that last number, sorry, I don't have it. <laughs> they don't have any signage in here, so uh, I will go check it out and find out what it is, and I'll put it in the ticker tape along the bottom here for you. And uh, of course, you wanna make sure you use the currency converter for wherever you are at, because these will be Canadian dollars. And otherwise, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button, and if you haven't already, click subscribe. As well, if we're providing you with any value at all, feel free, buy us a coffee, link in the description. We've loved having you along on this tour. Thanks for watching.